Hi everyone, um, I'm doing this video because I really want to show you my new hair. Um, I wanted to dye it dirty pink but this is actually darker because the hairdressers told me that it fades out really easily and um, after 10 washes it would turn actually into like a grey colour. So he told me tr to try not to wash my hair with shampoo. If It's okay to wash it with wash it like and then put conditioner on or um just rinse it with water but he told me that like if i wanted to keep it for longer i should um leave it um aw uh, stay away from like um what you call it um hair um um hair wash um shampoo yeah sorry about that um so I actually went in to fill out the colour um, um, after the day I did it, which the original colour was um, like that. And um, my, I actually wanted um, this colour. And this is Amanda Steele, uh, my favorite YouTuber, one of my favorite YouTubers. And um, yeah, today's video is like a Q&A so that you can know more about me, myself. And then um, in two weeks time, I'll be going to the hospital to have my the rest of my small, small bowels removed. And for those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a chronic patient with um, intestinal obstruction and I um, can't rely on like food to nourish myself and I have to do use an IV drip or like IV nutrition to um, sort of like feed myself and it goes right into the bloodstream and I can only eat for enjoyment which actually my doctors were not that fond of like he actually didn't want me to eat at all but it's after three years he finally you know like um agreed that i should um be able to eat something because it's very hard to suppress your appetite especially when you smell food my doctor is a chest f my dad dad is actually a chest f physician and um so um he's not in the area that that um, my sickness was on but he's actually quite upset that he cannot heal his own daughter after being able to heal a lot of other patients so um i guess um i feel sorry for him too and the first question is where i'm from and what race i am um i'm actually from hong kong and uh um my race is chinese and the second one is where did I attend school? I attended school in a pri local primary school and then I went on to a boarding school in England but I really hated it because it was like uh, sort of like really boring. It was in a boring town that has absolutely nothing in it except for old people's home and I really couldn't stand it because by the age of 12 I was already very active and I'm I would go shopping and stuff like buying clothes, buying stickers, buying everything. So I really couldn't stand it. Are you married and do you have kids? Um, yes, I have been married and no, I don't have kids. Um, but I'm now divorced because um, I think my husband decided that um, he could not live with, he was so young and he could not live with a wife that could not give him what a wife should be able to give him and um he wanted to move on with his work instead of take care of me all the time and so after six years of marriage it ended but before he left me he actually took quite good care of me to be fair so um i'm very grateful towards that and if he ever saw this i wanted to say um i'm sorry i wasted so much of your time but I hope you realize that I'm very upset too in the way that you have treated me um, with the financial help that I need after we separated because I am really very ill and um, I um, my family basically we can't afford to to sustain my medical fees anymore and um, 
we have to borrow money and everything and the government hospitals wouldn't take me because they don't they cannot supply me with the IV nutrition as it's too expensive and if I were to go in there they would just leave me to die and say that it's a natural cause of like because you can't cannot eat you're dying of starvation so I was told by several doctors not to go into the public sector so um, yeah what's my biggest passion for life uh, my biggest passion for life is fashion and um, um, teaching people how to mix and match um, clothes so that they can dress cool and nice and expensively because I believe that you shouldn't be you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on clothes and you could still look very good and very cool because at the end of the day if the clothes go out of fashion you can't really resell them and um, it would be a waste of money to sell to throw away a seventy seven hundred dollar like coat or something whereas um, if you spend clothes on spend like really little money on clothes and still be able to look cool and you can just use the clothes to wipe the floor and wouldn't, wouldn't be a waste um, what's my biggest regret in life my biggest regret in life is that I did not listen to my father and I shouldn't have commenced a um, loving relationship before I finished school because it really diverted a lot of my attention and I couldn't concentrate. I was offered a place in Oxford but um, because I got into uh, emotional attachments and things like that I couldn't go on so that's my biggest regret in life. Um, what do you like to buy most among all the things girls like to buy? Um, diamonds this is my diamond ring and um it's under slightly under one carat and my aim is to save up and buy one that is about 1.5 but with a really good color so i'm saving up for it and so with this goal i would not like um spend money on stupid things and i found a shop in hong kong that would take back um diamond rings um within one year for um 90% of its price or you can um, just add money to upgrade it to a bigger one within one year without having to pay any extra fees except you lose the, the craftsmanship because if you exchange it into a different one that the crafts here would be wasted and they cannot reuse it so I think that's very fair and it's a good way to save money because even though uh, after two years you want to sell it you can still get like you know 20% off the original price and you can st still sell it for that money so I think that's a good idea um, what's my biggest achievement in life sorry to say that I don't have any yet um, um, what, who is the favorite person in your life my favorite person in my life has got to be my dad because um, He's very devoted to taking care of me. He's very sympathetic, very nice, very respectable, and he is also very respectable to the family. Very nice to my mother. Very nice to my sister. He has a, sh a lot on his shoulders, and um, he uh, has to pay for my my um, existence because the medical fees are really expensive, and our family can not afford it after spending like I think billions of Hong Kong dollars that's millions of US on my illness and um, I think that's very sad and I often blame myself for being sick and I wish that I sometimes I wish that I wasn't here so that I don't have to affect the family so much but I guess it's impossible um, what's my favorite activity um, my favorite activity is um, shopping every girl likes to shop and also mix and match matching clothing what's your religion my religion is Christian and I'm a very devoted Christian I still like to I always feel that there's some blockage between me and God and I don't know what it is but um, 
I hope that this can be resolved. I hope that I still believe that God will heal me one day, and because it says in the word that Jesus came for us to have life and have it more abundantly, and living like that, ruining the family relationship, and then spending so much money just to exist. You know, I'm barely existing, not even living. Th that's how much my pain is, and um, I believe that's not God's idea of an abundant life. So, um, yeah. Do you have any siblings? Um, yes, I do. I have a sister that's um, five years younger than I am. What's your favorite food? My favorite food has got to be beef. Um, I love beef and I love burgers. I love um, Korean barbecue and uh, Japanese food and also ramen and like dumplings with chicken fillings. And um, where would you like to live if you were to move to another country? Either London or LA. London, I believe I can live for life because that's where I've spent a lot of years. Um, I After I went to the boarding school, I went to an ESF school, which was uh, English school's foundation for people, uh, kids, people's kids that, um, people who worked in Hong Kong as in the government because Hong Kong used to be a British colony so they have kids that are white and so 80% of my school were made up of like um, uh, British kids and so after that I went on to London to, to for university so that's like my second home. LA I'm not sure I can stay there for life but for a few years time or something like that if I have a partner or something I don't mind but um, yeah these are the two places and what is the most important thing in life health and um, God I think God is the most important thing in life because without God I don't think I could have I would still be here and I could have gone through all these years of sufferings and um, where is one place you really want to travel to? London. And um, I really want to travel to London because um, I haven't been there since I graduated from university. And, oh actually, uh, since my honeymoon, which was s straight after I graduated from university. And so, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I hope you liked my video. And if you do like my video, I hope you give it a thumbs up. and please 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 do subscribe because my birthday is coming up and i'll be in surgery and i hope that your subscription will give me good luck and um if you like me and you like my channel please do subscribe thanks very much for your time bye